Run across the street and get me some barbecue potato chips. Ooh, can I keep the change? Hell no, fool. Meat downtime, meat boy, and this one's pretty fun. I gotta imagine that this one has meat works all over it. Michael Johnson, the menace, taking on Diego Ferreira, who is a minus 155 favorite in this one, despite having not fought since late 2021. And when we saw him, he got absolutely smoked by Gamer Gamrot, right? It was those TKO gnarly shots of the body. Diego just had to, I don't want to say quit, but was up against the cage and was not feeling what Gamrot was feeding him. And... Gamrot to that point was just out wrestling him, out grappling him, uh, never allowed Diego to get his striking or his BJJ game going. It was just start to finish domination for Gamer Gamrot. And it was the third of a three fight L streak for Diego because Gregor Gillespie smoked him and Benil Darius got that uh, split decision win over him. And that was a fight of the night, but it almost seems like that was when Diego started to uh, go down the wrong path, right? It was a razor split decision that. Maybe he could have won against a legend like Benny Dariush, and ever since then, it's been nothing but L's. It's just interesting to note that he's still a decent favorite in this one because he had that beautiful six-fight win streak before that, right? And he picked up some decent wins along the way, right? Jared Gordon, uh, Olivier Aubin Mercier, the Canadian gangster who is the GOAT of the PFL, and then Anthony Pettis, Rusam Havilov, like, he did some good things, so... I think that that's what the odds makers are anticipating. Perhaps he just needs a Michael Johnson like opponent to get back on track. But Michael Johnson at plus 125, I think he's basically won three in a row. I mean, he just looked great against Mark Jacasey. It was good to see him finally get a unanimous, dominant victory for him. And then the split decision loss to Jamie Malarkey before that was fight of the night. And I know a lot of people thought that the menace got robbed in that one and that Malarkey was lucky to eke out that technical split decision. And then he had the win over Alain Patrick before that, and obviously Alain Patrick is not good. So what are your thoughts on this one? Do you think that Michael Johnson is going to continue the win streak, or is this exactly what Diego needs to get back on track? A guy like Michael Johnson who will come to bang, but definitely has his deficiencies. Who do you take? You know, th this is such a fun fight, um, but I, I got to go with the menace. You know, menace looked really good last fight. Diego Ferrer, I can't say his last three, he looked good because he's taken an L. So I like that uh, Michael Johnson is an underdog. I feel like this is a pick em. Both of these guys, they are well grizzled, well experienced, and they're getting older in their age. Wouldn't surprise me if one or both these guys retire or loser gets sent to BKFC. Um, but I got to go with Michael Johnson. 36 years young. I like the knockout. I like the decision win. And... I like his momentum right now, so I got to go with him. He's an underdog. How can you not pick him? Yeah, good stuff. He does have the momentum, right? If either of these guys have what we would consider to be a momentum, it's definitely on the Menace's side. And it's crazy because Menace has been around forever, and he, yet he's still going to be two years younger against Diego. And Diego's an OG too, but Michael Johnson just has so many UFC fights to where I was a little surprised to be reminded that he's two years younger than Diego Fajeda. And this is one of those ones you mentioned that you thought it should be a pick -em. He's a decent dog, Michael Johnson, plus 120, but one of those fights where Tapology is riding with the dog, right? 67% is going with the menace. Majority is beige for that decision, but about half of it, nearly half, is going for that brown KO as well. So if you were to lay the chalk on one side or the other, messing around with props, would you say that menace gets a finish in this one, or is decision most likely? Yeah, you know, I, I, I would imagine decision... But Michael Johnson's been getting finishes, so you just never know. I wouldn't put too much stock in a finish, though. These are you know, small guys. They're decision warriors. And I think this one's going to go the distance, though. Yeah, I buy that. I'm kind of seeing that same way as well. And I'm, I'm with you. I'm taking Michael Johnson. I like him at underdog value. This kind of reminds me of Matt Brown from last week, Meat Boy, where we were kind of all over that plus 175 juicy dog. And we're not quite getting that juicy of a dog in Michael Johnson, but... A dog with some momentum, the younger guy, yet the more experienced. I think that that is a recipe uh, for success for Michael Johnson. And I also like that he's trained at Kill Cliff FC with all those killers. And obviously Diego Ferreira at Fortis MMA is always working with tough guys. But those Kill Cliff guys are just kind of on an, uh, another level right now. I mean, we see what Ian Gary is doing. And uh, I just like him in this one against Diego Ferreira to, to your point, probably win a decision in this one. So... I'm rolling Michael Johnson. You are as well. Any last thoughts? No fun fight. Don't come to you taking you taking the menace or Diego Fajera.